All right, this is it. We found Slasher. All right, Slasher's about to try to show us up with Golos, or maybe it's the PO deck. Who will know? I'm gonna give Slasher a second to jump out of chat, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll play our last round of the night. This was a fast league. This was a very fast league. The other league took a, quite a long time. We had to make a lot of choices, but um, here we go. Round five uh, with the thing. It does the stuff on the play. It's either, yeah, it's, it's either um, Golo Shops or it's uh, Old Breacher P.O. So I'm going to play the soul ring as mental misstep bait so that our Bomat carrier will resolve. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to use the, um, then we're going to use this island so that we can still hold up pole breacher. Bomat courier, get in there. Pole breacher, obviously not great against Golo shops, but if we can jam a jar on the next turn and make seven tr treasures, that's pretty good. I think they're going to be on PO though. They've been talking about go uh they've been talking about PO for a while. Oh wow, that is a solid hand. Let's see what their follow up is. It's a, certainly a good 3 card start. So Jar doesn't get rid of their hand, uh, but they won't draw any cards off of Jar and we'll get seven tre treasures to work with. Uh, Creeping Chill is very good in Vintage Dredge, as is Force of... Jeez. Alright, we're gonna... <sighs> yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so broken. Well, I mean, they high rolled us. We lost. Oh, they just had Pyroblast too? All right, whatever. Tinker with Pyroblast back up and then Teferi off the top. Quite strong. Not much we can do about that. <laughs> can you guys read that? Can you guys read that? It's too good. <laughs> can you read that? Is it large enough? Can you see? <laughs> it says, so this is what it feels like not playing Golo Shop. <laughs> holy shit it's too fucking funny <laughs> oh. what else did I take out out in I don't remember. Uh, oh, it's too good. I have to play two bow mats. If I'm not playing two bow mats, what are we even doing here? <laughs> One of them got misstepped. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is not a keepable hand, I agree. <laughs> you don't have to sell me on that one, Eric. I don't think this is a keepable hand either. <laughs> but we, we didn't come here not to play two turn one bow mat carriers. 
Oh my god, they have another Lotus hand. Please, mercy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pio is a very hard matchup for this deck. We don't have the tools to be beating Pio. Hercules Recall, interesting. I don't know if I would board in Hercules Recall versus me. <laughs> this. Um, we had a rough round two. We had a very good round one. We had a very rough round two. So if you want to watch the VODs for League number one, I highly recommend it. The VODs for League number two? That's just sorrow. If they want to Hercules recall this, I don't care. They can do that. Sure. You got it, homie. Got it. <sighs> I don't think I'm supposed to buy force this this, so I would rather just weld. I don't think we're winning this game, by the way. We should have mulliganed, but we also had double bow mount on turn one, so... The fairy time raveler missed on a land. Very nice. Very good for us. I think I'm going to buy force this pearl. Oh, I could have just sacked this. No, this is... Hmm. I, I want to get the Citadel in my yard. So I need to draw a Moxon off of this Bomat Courier. Is kind of how it is, right? I guess I'm allowed to Engineer first. No, I'm not, because I need this red source. I think that I'm supposed to sack this Beaumont Courier and try to high roll a Moxon so that I can weld a Citadel in. It's a little greedy. Sweet. I think I'm just going to leave this blast on top. Obviously, I could. Yeah, I'm going to leave the blast on top. I think it's fine. I don't think I need to cycle through it. That was pretty cool. Bomat putting my dead Citadel into play is pretty lit. All right, that's game winning right there. Uh, we had we milled the manifold key with the Emery, so now we can weld. Oh. Oh, they have double force. All right, so the game is not over yet.
I have time and a full keep bow mag. So first we'll attack with this bow mag carrier. And get rid of this. Skellion, and then we hit a land, which we still can play. And then we hit a breacher. We have a vault. All right, so next turn we'll win. They still have Teferi as their last card. So there we just weld out the pearl for the time vault and untap and weld out the manifold, uh, the other mocks for the manifold key and then take infinite turns. That was dope. Um, uh, Bowman Courier, like, I, honest to God, like, it, it, it really hasn't been bad. It has done very good things for us. It was really cool. I don't know. Man, this is certainly a hand that's going to lose to P.O. It is. The moment has been much better than just the meme, for sure. Uh, this hand is like, it's really hard to keep this hand versus P.O., but. I'm going to I have to keep it, I think. Bomat also let us discard one of our good cards. Oh, they have turn one Lavinia. Oh, they have turn one Ancestral off of Sapphire. Also good. I don't think that we've um, drawn super well. I'm going to run straight into Flusterstorm, I think. No, I don't actually have to. I could play an Emery to start. I guess maybe I want to get Welder in play in case they do a Citadel. Then I shouldn't have played my Mana Crypt, but... Like, uh, I guess I can't stop Tinker this turn, but at least if they don't Tinker me this turn, I have the ability to Weld on the next time they Tinker me. Maybe that's Greedy. It's possibly Greedy. Um, but I feel like they had Flusterstorm, and I wanted to not play Ancestral Recall. So if we untap, we can play Narset, which is very good to give us our opponent's deck. Uh, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. If they go, like, Teferi here and bounce my Welder, it looks pretty silly. Oh, they had Tinker. All right. So we really had no way to beat this besides, um, Welding and getting to the next turn. Oh, they just hit a top off the top. All right. Slasher is too good. All right, well... If they bricked in a land off of this Citadel, then we could weld the Citadel out on our next turn. But unfortunately, they hit the only card that goes infinite. Well, one of the cards that goes infinite, so. No, the game is now over because they can just top on top every time and then um, they just draw their whatever cards they need. So the game is the game is ended. Um, it, We thought about Cavern, but all the creature types don't really overlap. So if you're playing just welders and um, engineers, you, I played caverns in that deck. Yeah. But um, we're dead here. I'm just going to let Slasher have some fun and do his thing. Uh, there are not 17 bad hits in the deck, though. So. It's uh, actually just not possible. We're deterministically dead. There are not even 17 lands in the deck. There are only 10 more lands in the deck. I'm pretty sure that if you play a top on top off a of Citadel at 19 life, you're deterministically killing your opponent. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm from my experience with PO, I don't think I've ever whiffed at that point. I have watched people misplay and do it, but I don't know if that really counts. No, no, no. The minute they found a top on top, we were dead. Um, however, if they had hit a land, which was very possible, um, then we would have untapped and weldered away the Citadel, and we would have had a chance. Which is why I played the welder over things like um, Emery or Ancestral Recall, right? So, I think we made the right play, and it just so happened that our opponent um, did not brick on their Tinker. So, is how it is. Yo, Nicole. Congrats on the W's.
Or not some Nicole, sorry. The other Bumblebee. Jesus. What's up, Mo? Appreciate it. Too many bees now. My last day tomorrow. Are you even going to be in? No, you're taking the day off. There, There's a pig bee. That would be Nicole. Sorry, sorry, Mo. <laughs> Dude, there's going to be nobody in. It's just going to be me in the office with one monitor and an empty desk looking around like, what am I supposed to do here? It doesn't look like Slasher knows what they're doing, so we let's see let's see let's see what Slasher does here. I'm interested to see if he can figure it out. Just leave. <laughs> Maybe it will leave early and uh stream instead. I don't know. Uh, I have a meeting at 1, so maybe after that. I have a meeting at 9 and a meeting at 1. So I have to be in at a normal time, and maybe I'll just do like a 9 to 2 or something. I know no one else is going to be in, so. So, like, my new boss, one of my new bosses was like, hey, can we go on, get on a call at 1 tomorrow? And I was like, no, she, she said, can you get on a call tomorrow? So I figured, like, tomorrow morning, right? And then she scheduled the meeting for one. And I was just like, what? What? One? Uh, on, the, on the Wednesday when no one's in? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a log. It's a, it's a Zoomer. It's a Zoomer renter. You, you can't expect them to have five moxen of the same type. Uh... I'm just, I, I, I think that Slasher hasn't played a lot of PO, so I want to let Slasher get some experience comboing off. So when, when you when you do a tinker like this with a, with a top, because you're pretty much deterministically lethal, um, a lot of times players won't let you play it out. Um, but you need, do need to know how to play it out. So I think it's important that Slasher gets the opportunity here to play it out. Um, so that's why we're going to sit here and let Slasher uh, do the thing. Oh, they have Twister in their deck. Very nice. Uh, that was bad, though. That was very bad, though. Because they twisted away their top. They needed... They didn't want to do that. They definitely needed to keep their top around. I mean, they still have it here. Because they have Demonic Tutor off of Narsa, but... I definitely think that was a slight mistake. I don't know, Cho. They were talking about that, but I'm not sure what it is. All right, they found the mentor off the Debonic. That makes sense. They've already used their Yogg will, so they can't go for like double Citadel. But if they just have time walk, that will do it. Uh, scroll doesn't do it here. I mean, I have no plays, so even if I get to my turn, it doesn't really matter. Um, but so yeah, that was the tier two emote. Um, I just moved it up because we got four new emote slots for partner. Um, I have Kim commissioned for four new emotes. Um, I'll probably move Luris to the tier two spot until he gets unbanned. Um, but we have some sweet, sweet emotes coming for the home team. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. All right. So they he ended up passing the turn to us. I, I really don't think from the position that Slasher was in, you should ever have to pass the turn to me. Um, so I think there's probably something that Slasher could have done better while comboing off that would have allowed them to win the game without passing the turn back to me. Um, but obviously without me seeing their hand, it's I don't I can't tell, you know. Um obviously passing the turn to me after wheeling is very similar to never passing the turn to me so it's not a big deal um and he also made it so i can't even get rid of the citadel if i wanted to do so i think it's fine ggs slasher ggs all right so we 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 had a nice start uh but we ended up 50 50 and you know what i think a 50 percent win rate for uh for this brew is is pretty reasonable i'm not not too upset about it so um that is going to be the whole stream for me tonight. Like I said, I do have to go to work uh, on time tomorrow. Um, but I do expect to stream this week. Um, probably maybe 
tomorrow night, Thursday night, or Friday night. Maybe Friday during the day. I'm not really 100% sure. And then we'll definitely stream the challenge on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, that's the home, That's the one for sure. But I, I, if you want to know, I mean, I'll definitely tweet it out ahead of time. And it'll be on the Discord ahead of time. So if you're not already on the Discord, join the Discord. The link is in chat. Um, if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel... Uh, or you want to see some of these VODs um, that you missed. Maybe you missed the first league where we went 4-0 and only saw the league we went 1-4. Um, my YouTube channel is also in chat. Um, big shout out to everyone who subscribed and followed and liked. And every basically everyone. Um, I really never started streaming with the idea that there would be a lot of people watching me. It was more, um, you know, being able to play with just a couple people and... Uh, made it more fun for me to play magic online and so this whole uh recent success has been you know kind of uh surprise to me and really really cool so uh i plan on keeping streaming and i will keep putting out vintage content and maybe content of other types and i hope that you want to keep watching and that you enjoy the enjoy the streams so um I'm going to find a place to send you guys, and then I will catch you some other time. Uh, does anyone know if there are any other Eternal Weekend stream, or not Eternal Weekend, Eternal streamers streaming? Anyone playing Magic Online, maybe? Uh, Legacy Standstill? How about Legacy Standstill? That looks like a good place. Oh, wow. They have... They have quite the... Yeah, yeah. This is a good place. So I'm going to send you guys over to uh, Asioka MTG, who is playing Legacy Standstill. I see red and white cards and burning wishes and... All kinds of crazy stuff going on. So enjoy that, and I'll catch you guys at the next stream. Thank you, everybody.